Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we'll be working on how, uh, to how I created this image um, in Capture One. I used Capture One to create this image. I started using Capture One recently and I must say the results were mind-blowing. They were really mind-blowing. I enjoyed creating with this uh, software. The uh, tools are quite nice. Sorry about this. The tools are quite nice and, all, and actually very straightforward than uh, Camera Raw Filter or um, Lightroom. I prefer, I would always recommend Capture One. So, without wasting much time, let me just jump right into how I created this image. First of all, first thing I do when I bring my image into uh, Capture One. I grade before doing the skin retouching or I'm doing my skin tone. I grade first. So the first thing I want to do here now is uh work on my levels. That is the lighting. I want to uh do my processing. So I already got the picture I needed right from uh, my camera. I this was how I was seeing the image when I took the image. It was taken around four in the four five in the evening. So I was going for that warm feel which I caught from my camera. So uh, the first thing I'll do is bring in my lights. That is drawing my highlights. That is my highlight here. Yeah. And bring in my shadows too. That is on the levels. This way I balance my light. I don't worry about this reddish stuff. This is like the warning sign that I'm going overboard with my highlights. So to counter this, I'll just drag in my highlights here. So yeah, that has been countered. Yeah, perfect. That is like the second thing I do after working on my curves. So the next thing I want to do now is go into clarity and add the clarity of let's see. 15 or 10, no, I guess 10 is fine just to add more structure and more feel into the image. So, after doing that, I would start my uh, color grading immediately. So, to do the uh, color grading, I create layers. Capture One also work with layers. So, I'll create a new empty layer. The first uh, color I want to attack oh wait let me just new field layer so the first color I want to attack is my uh blues I want to attack this blues so where do I do that I come into my color um, panel here so in here we have uh this is my layers we have the histogram we have the layers we have the base characteristics that is the ICC profile comes on engineering oh we have the white balance you can tweak your white balance here we have the normalize i really don't use this normalize uh then we have the color editor the main tool that will be working in this panel is this um color editor and color balance we'll be using this tool a lot so but we'll be using this uh color editor a lot so how do i pick my colors to work on the uh, blues, that is to recover the blues that has been lost. I'll pick my color picker here. Now select one part of the blues that is like still visible somewhere around here. Should do. Uh -huh. So next thing I want to do is increase the range. Immediately I picked. Capture One has already selected, has already fixed the range for me, so it's left to you to increase the range, turn on your view selected coloring to know exactly where you've selected, somewhere like this, yeah, like this. As you can see, I'm only affecting the uh, blues, I'm not affecting any other colors like this, so I'll switch this off now bring down my lightness a little so that is to recover uh the blues i lost with my light around 15 is fine so i'll bump up my uh saturation let's say around 100 i won't i don't mind this 
let me just see my ear bring my ear down to this uh yeah then i will go back into uh this exposure panel going to my eye dynamic range i just want to count that this red fill here yeah? so uh-huh like this i think i've recovered most of my blues now i'll go back into my color panel and see how i can tweak this should I take it down? Let me just leave it around five here. Yeah. Four is fine. Take this out. Yeah, like this is fine. So I've uh, gotten my blues. This is my before. This is after before after. I've gotten the blues. So the next color I want to tackle again is the greens. So I'll create another new layer for that. You can name these blues. You can create another new field layer. Pick your color picker again and select the blue field. Switch your um, turn on this view selected range. I can see I'm selecting some colors on the skin too and I don't want that. So I'll just drag this away from the yellow. Yeah, like that. Then bring up my greens to select more of the greens. Yeah, like this. I think I've selected most of them. Yeah. So I'll turn this off again. Now I'll bring down my hue. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually nice. Take up the saturation a little. Yes. Uh yeah this is nice but i'll do this again i'll pick my color picker pick the color again so um, view selected range that's to know the colors i'm picking i'm gonna just bring this out to select some more of the greens yeah, like this then switch this off again then bring down the hue more yeah like this yes this is perfect so this is my before and this is my after before after let me just take the view back up a little to bring in yeah like this so the next thing i want to let me name this my greens the next thing i want to tackle is the skin i feel the skin is not Get in, I'm not getting my skin tone. The skin is over light, so I just want to darken it down a little bit. And this is where Capture One gets very interesting. Now, I just want to target the skin color without uh, affecting the background. Now, if you look at this image, the color on the skin is like almost same thing with this background here and here. So how do i do that i'll create i'll come to this place right click new empty layer so now i'll pick my draw mask and just paint on the skin the reason why i say i prefer um, capture one to uh photoshop is they are brush uh the brush yeah the brush is the, uh, i'm sorry the brush precision yeah is quite high and it's very very mad like the precision is just mad i prefer this brush to uh photoshop's brush so just have to be careful while painting not to over paint So welcome back. Um, now we've done the uh, painting, painted the skin. But if you feel you overpainted and you just want to like erase it, 
come back here right click and click M erase mask and you can erase the excess area you painted yeah, like so so um we've done the uh, selection so I'll come into my color editor again pick my color picker now I'll select just the mid tone here click on view selected range again to know exactly where I'm selecting and I want to be sure I say I'm selecting all parts of the skin I think I've done a pretty good job here. So switch this off. Now I'll just reduce the lightness like so. Don't go too much, I think. Minus so should do. Yeah, I think minus 12 is fine. This is like the before, this is the after. Yeah, minus 12 is fine. So, uh, I've done the skin. I'm okay with the skin. Although I may just want to extend my uh, painting. That is, pick my draw mask and just paint on this air. I want it to affect the edge so it doesn't look weird. No. So yeah, I think we are fine like this. Um, let me create a new variant. So this is where we started from. This is where we are now. This is where we started from, where we are. Minor but huge difference. So the next thing I want to clean again is this uh, background. The color is kind of distracting. I don't like this color. I'm going for something more cleaner than this. So what do we do again? Open a new field, a um, new empty layer name this white background or compound sweep let's just sweep it yeah like that so you pick your brush again but this time make sure it is a very soft round brush because of the transitions from this side upwards so, just paint gently. Yeah. So now, after painting that side, you can now increase your brush, hardness, just paint. Here you've um, overpainted erase or shortcut E on your keyboard then just paint the area out shortcut bridge change it to brush so uh we've done the uh selection so we just want to sweep the compound so pick your color picker select the color views um selected color range Let's see where we've selected uh -huh, like this, like this. Then just switch this off, then draw down the saturation. Now this is looking too fake, like it is just too uh fake. And we just want to add some uh more reality color to this. So you just have to you don't have to go all the way down, just have to like come somewhere around here I think around here is perfect so this is like the before this is the after before after now our subject is standing out than the background so this is like the before this is the after basically this is how I graded this image this capture one is just so sweet and very very simple not time consuming so after this you can just import it into um, Photoshop and do your magic simple 
but before I end this, I always do my uh, color balance. And what do I do in color balance? Create a new field layer. Go into my highlight. I like this uh, cyanish feel in my highlights. I think like this is fine. So this is like the before. This is the after. Before, after. Major difference before after so after doing this you can just take it into photoshop and do your magic so till next tutorial you guys can just uh write in the comment section below what video you want to see next on this youtube also if this tutorial has um really helped you please share like subscribe turn on post notifications so when i post new videos you'll be the first to get notified about this so till then